Okay, and welcome to episode one of Let's Paint. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I painted a Space Wolf biker that I gave to a friend of mine for Christmas. Now I base coated this thing in white, and then I went ahead and painted all of the appropriate areas in Space Wolf Gray. And next, I'm going to go ahead and take some bolt gun metal. Citadel paint colors and I'm gonna go ahead and paint this on all the places that bolt gun should be on And here's the model with all of the appropriate spots painted in that bolt gun metal. So you see we got the exhaust, we've got the trim, we've got the guns attached to the front. Good stuff. And we got the backpack as well. Next I'm going to take some olive green from Tamiya Color. I'm using this because I don't have uh, Catachan green. If you have Catachan green, you can probably use this. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the ammo box that's on the back of the gun in olive green. And here it is. Following that up, we're going to go ahead and take some golden yellow and we're going to paint all the yellow parts on this model. And we're going to start with the front of the bike here. And here we go. We went ahead and we got that Aquila that was on the ammo box there. We got the shoulders, we got the sides of the bike, we got the, sh the knee pad that was on a Space Wolf biker there. See, there's our Aquila, nice and yellow. Size of the bike, knee pad, shoulder, good stuff. Next, we'll be moving on to Blood Red. I'm just going to use this for a few details on this biker here. So, what we did is I painted the eyes on the biker's helmet a red. And I also painted some slash marks on his one yellow knee pad there. After that, we'll be going ahead and uh, we'll be painting that light there. And to do that, I'm just going to use some craft store light yellow. Now you could use regular yellow and white from the Citadel line, but since I had this stuff lying around, I figured I might as well use it for this. So there we go. It's in this nice light yellow color, but there is a metal grill over that. And we're going to use some chain mail to go ahead and paint that grill protecting that light cover. And we'll be using a fine detail brush to do that. And there it is. Now the light is protected. Now the way that we were able to paint such fine details, we took a fine detail brush. And um, instead of dipping in the paint and running it over the lines like so, that would be extremely hard to Keep, uh, keep it in the lines. So what we did is we just went ahead and we just barely touched it to those grill lines there. Top, bottom, and the ones going up and down. And just barely touching it there 
we're able to get some really nice detail without going over the lines. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to be painting uh, the skulls that were on the gas tank and on that uh, that bolter holster there, and the Aquila that's on the chest. We're we'll painting it in bleached bone. If you don't have access to bleached bone, you can go ahead and just use skull white. If you're going to use skull white, you can probably darken it up with a little bit of something, usually yellow or just a tiny bit of brown. But skull white is what you really want to use. And there we go. And we pick, we'll be picking out details later on with uh, this, uh, with a wash. But we're just going to leave it alone for right now. I took some snot green. And I also took uh, some scorpion green. And I went ahead and I painted some details on his screen there like a, a map or a targeting computer or something. Just added some more details. And those buttons that are on his uh, his handlebars there, I went ahead and I painted those with uh, some blood red as well. Okay. Now I'm going to take some chain mail and I went ahead and I created some battle damage to this guy. I also took some codex gray or you can use Commando Khaki, and I painted up that uh, that bedroll that's attached to the back. Uh, Chainmail, what you do is you just barely drag it along the uh, hard edges on the bike. Any place that would come into contact with any kind of solid object with the paint would rub off. So you can see all that there. Now the golden rule with this thing is less is more. You don't want to go crazy but you do want to try and hit a lot of edges. I also got some there along his, uh, his feet on the bottom of his, uh, his legs there. And this spot right here on the shoulder pad, since I bought this thing used, there was a big gouged out. So I went ahead and painted that thing chainmail as well, just for some battle damage. So there's a reason why there's a piece missing out of there. Now, we're going to need some brown. I've got Vomit Brown, I've got Bestial Brown, I've got Graveyard Earth, I've got Tanned Flesh, and just out of camera, I've got Scorched Brown. Now we only need three colors. We need a light, a medium, and a dark brown. You don't need all of these. So just look through and pick the three colors that you want. I'm going to be using... Uh, I'm going to use Bistro Brown for our light. I'm going to go ahead and use our Dark Flesh for our medium, and Scorched Brown for our dark. So there we go, light, medium, and dark. And we're going to be painting the uh, wolf's tail that's attached to his helmet. There we go. A little bit of dry brushing, we put on our dark, and then we dry brushed on our medium and our light, and we've got a nice wolf tail right there. I know Fenris wolves are usually uh, gray, but I wanted to break up the grayness with a bit of warm colors, so I used brown instead. And I also painted uh, that bolter holster there in a brown, as well as the straps that are holding on the, uh, the bedroll. And I did a uh, tiny little uh, marks with chainmail silver for the straps there with our uh, fine detail brush again with chainmail and I just use the same technique that I did to cover that light there all right so these tires here should be black now uh, nothing in nature is truly black you can paint them black um, you know, go ahead and use your Chaos Black, but I have something else. From the Reaper Paint line, I have Faded Black. Now, I got this because a few months back, they did this deal where if you buy X amount of dollars worth of stuff, they would send you three free paints. I didn't know what they would send me. One of them was Faded Black, so this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and use that. And there we go. Yeah, we've got a nice black tires. And we need to bring out the uh, the detail on this thing. There's no better way to do that than with some bad ab black. And we're going to go ahead and use a mop brush to uh, put that on.
just set that aside to dry. And now we've got a battle damaged, worn, dirty look. This guy's been in a lot of combat. Nothing's clean. Everything is appropriately dirty. And it really does help to bring out details. See the skull there on the gas tank and on the other side. And even the skull that's on the holster there. Get some detail. And it really helps to bring out all the runes that are on that Space Wolf helmet. Even the Aquila there. Okay, now it's time to get this guy on a base. Now you could just go ahead and glue this guy to his regular plain black base. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want to go a few steps beyond. So, we're going to do that with some paint and some basing material. First we'll start out with some white craft paint, and follow that up with some brown craft paint. And we're going to be using a small flat brush for that. Now to create an actual terrain, I've got some sand. You can get this from a craft store, or if you live near a beach like me, you can get lots of it for free. And we'll go ahead and we'll be attaching that stuff with some PVA glue, or as I have, tacky glue. Now I like to use um, craft paint when I base, because you're going to be using a lot of paint, and you don't want to use your expensive uh, Citadel paint for this. And Craft paint works just as fine for uh, basing. So we're just going to go ahead and paint this entire base white. Paint on one coat, let it dry, then paint on another one until you can't see any more black. It'll probably take you two or three uh, coats for the thing to be completely white. And here it is, all nice and dry. Completely covered. Now we're going to go ahead then we're going to place our biker on here, so we'll know where to put our brown. Now his tires are going to be digging through the snow into the dirt and mud underneath. So we're going to want a stripe of brown going from the front tire all the way to the back. So I just need to know where to start and how wide the tire is, so I know how wide to make that stripe of brown. So. Just go ahead and do that. Put on a coat, let it dry, then probably go ahead and put on a second coat to let that thing dry. Then it'll be all ready for the Space Marine Biker to be glued on. And here's the biker attached to the base. Now, if you're going for uh, a quick army building, you probably wouldn't have painted this biker to this high of a detail. But since this is for a friend, I figured what the heck. And this is probably good enough if you're going for army building with the, the base, just a simple white and brown. Now you can see the tires. They're uh, very dull, they're not really reflective, but they're digging through snow, and snow is just frozen water, and so the tires would be really reflective if they were going through snow. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take uh, some of this uh, Citadel Art Coat that I've got right here, and this is just like a gloss varnish. And I'm just going to paint it on the tires so they look as though they've been going through snow. They've got a lot of water on them. They just look really wet and shiny. And there it is. Now it looks like it's been going through snow. See? Now there's a lot of uh, flat space on this base, and this needs to be broken up by uh, just some rubble or some terrain. I want it to be driving through snow, and so I'll just go ahead 
and look out in my yard and find some pebbles. Just any little tiny pebbles or rocks that you can find. And you just glue those onto the base with your PVA glue, and that'll help break up the flatness. And we'll paint those with white so it'll look like clumped snow and not rocks. And then we'll be putting sand over. And we'll be attaching the sand with some watered down tacky glue, applying it with a cheap disposable paintbrush. Alright, so now I've got the little pebbles glued on there. I've let the glue dry. It really helps to break up the flatness of the saw. And you'll see when the figure is done, it really does help to uh, just bring out the whole snowy terrain feel. And now, we're going to go ahead and paint them white. And get as much as you can. It'll be difficult to paint the backs of the rocks, but just cover as much as you can. So there we go. Now we've got the rocks painted white. And we're ready to go ahead and put on some sand. Now I've already uh, done one coat of sand, but I want to get a second coat on there. So, like I said, you just watered down your, uh, your tacky glue, and then you dunked it in a tub that you had filled with the sand. See, there's my watered down tacky glue. And here's my tub full of sand that you just dipped the figure in. And here's the figure with its second coat of sand. See, really helps to uh, build up that whole, uh, that whole snowy feel. Once we paint it, it'll look a lot more like snow, trust me. And we'll just use our cheapo white paint for that. Water it down a bit so it's not really thick, it goes on easy. And I'm just gonna put it in a container there. And afterwards, we're going to use some baking soda for our final layer of snow. This is really good for uh, terrain making when you're doing snow. So here I've got one coat of watered down white paint on there. I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and then put on a second coat of white paint. And here it is with its second coat of white paint. Now this stuff really looks like snow. Now you can call it quits right here because honestly it does look like some pretty cool snow but I'm gonna use the baking soda and I'm really gonna bring out that snowy wilderness feel be attaching that with some watered down tacky glue here I've got some watered down PVA glue and I've already gone ahead and painted that on the base so real quickly I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up this container with some baking soda now you don't need a whole lot, just enough to make sure that you've got the base covered. So just go ahead and break up any clumps you see, and then dip your figure. Now you want to make sure you get the front, the sides, the back. I went ahead and I painted in the middle as well just so I can get a thin layer of snow in there. So I'm making sure that I've got snow everywhere. I also uh, went ahead and I put some glue onto the tires. So the tires will be churning through the snow and they've got snow stuck to them. You go ahead and knock off any extra that you got. And then you've got yourself a Space Wolf Biker driving through the snow. This has been a painted tutorial for the Space Wolf Biker. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments that you have below. And as always, happy wargaming. That's all I've got for you this time. I am signing out.